Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back to another kicking action figure review. Last time we reviewed the ultra action figure Shin Ultraman. Now we are reviewing one of the kaiju he will fight upon the movie's release. Shin Naranga from the Movie Monster series. Yes, this is uh, one of the figures from my recent unboxing video where I unboxed a bunch of tai kaiju uh, stuff uh, with Big Boy Chungus, which was fun. Uh, and then I got Shin Naranga, which is somehow my first Naranga figure, uh, even though I adore Naranga. Uh, but oh well. Uh, he's really cool. Kaiju with electricity, manipulating powers, invisibility, whatnot. I uh, really like him. But uh, I'm not entirely sure why he's in the Movie Monster series. Probably some kind of legal reason or budget reason uh, instead of the Ultra Hero series. Yeah, but there will probably be Ultra Hero series versions, right? When the movie comes out, maybe. But yeah, so there is a, uh, a Shin Naranga character model on the tag. My tag has a hole in it, sadly. Because uh, I know the tags are pretty collectible to a lot of people. I don't really care about them, to be honest. Uh, you know, that's open. Uh, oh, red on the back. Very, very cool. So now let's snip this off and uh, then take a look at the fig himself. And here he is, out of package, the Bandai Movie Monster series, Shin Naranga. Yeah, this is actually a very well-detailed figure with some pretty good paint. Paint could be a little better, to be completely honest. Uh, but remember, everyone, this is a kid's toy. The Movie Monster series is, first and foremost, a kid's line. That doesn't mean it's never had adult figure releases. I reviewed the uh, Godzilla the Ride Movie Monster series figures recently, and those looking at them like those are definitely for adult collectors with their price range and stuff this is uh not this is a standard movie monster series release this is figure is for children so we're going to judge it by those standards that being said the detail on it is actually immaculate uh like for a children's toy that is a lot of detail not as much paint but a lot of great detail I love, I've always loved Naranga's coloration, all the green and yellow looks really good. You know, he's got like the Baragon ridges and these Morgonzilla-like spines. Uh, he looks really nice, honestly. Just lots of fine detail, like in the legs, underbelly and stuff, in these very alien looking hands. <laughs> I love his claws, they're so interesting. I just love the shin looks for all these monsters. See, he's got his toenails painted. They're not painted on the bottom, but that doesn't matter because his feet are always going to be planted. That's basically how you have to pose him. Um, but these claws aren't painted on the inside, which is kind of a bummer. Once again, it's a kid's fig, but still, that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, the face is painted very well, though. You know, all the teeth are seem to be painted individually, which is nice. He's got, like, the very, lots of lip. The eye is very clean. <laughs> Yankee. Uh, it's a very good looking uh, fig. You gotta admit. All things considered, pretty dope. It's 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 got a real good look for a kid's toy. It really does. Uh, now let's look at articulation. Uh, as you can see here, that is a glue seal on the head, so it does not articulate. Uh, same with the tail. You know, you can actually see the glue right there it's not gonna move let's actually zoom out so this is a bit easier arms rotate and legs rotate which is exactly the articulation i expected him to have upon buying uh and four or five points is usually the norm for the movie monster series so uh i don't fret that at all but he looks good and he moves like expected like a figure of his price range it's going to cost us uh, not us, because I already have one. It's going to cost you more to get this guy here in the States than it is, you know, for someone in Japan to get it because of international shipping. It's not distributed here. Uh, so you, you'd probably be getting it on the secondary market. Uh, so you'll easily have to pay, like, double the price easy. But it's a cheap figure. So even even all that considered, it's still pretty affordable. Uh, but yeah, now let's get into some size comparisons. First up, here's with another monster from the film, Shin, Shin Gaborah, also from the movie Monster series. I got them alongside each other. Shin Gaborah here is actually the very next review we are going to do. Uh, so keep that in mind. That will be the next action figure review. 
there probably won't be a comic review in between. I'll probably just go ahead and immediately do uh, the Shin Gabora. He's a pretty cool figure, also. And uh, we'll see what's up with him. But, uh, yeah, they scale perfectly together. Like, absolutely perfectly. For one reason, they have a lot of the same parts. Just straight up. But I'll talk about that more in the next video. So be sure to uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now, I don't have the movie monster series Shin Ultraman, but I do have the Ultra Action figure Shin Ultraman. He's a bit smaller, but he is more articulated. And this is the same scale as SH Figure Arts, so consider this the same scaling for SH Figure Arts as well. Uh, so this is how the Ultra Action figure and SH Figure Arts lines will look with him. Uh, pretty good, I think. I actually think that's really good. The movie monster series one is probably too big. It, it just is. I think it's more along the six inch lines that uh, some older Ultraman figures are. They don't really make Ultraman in that scale much anymore, but yeah, I think this is actually perfect. I think this looks really good. Here he is with a figure in the current scale for the Ultra Hero series. Uh, this is Ultraman Orb Thunder Breaster, uh, which is like his Belial form, because you know I have to have everything Belial. Uh, or Belial, sorry. No, it's Belial, but Belial. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think that's bad either. I think that's fun, you know. Uh, I prefer the figure arts action hero, you know, scale, but this will do. Lastly, here he is alongside the Ultra that Naranga originally fought. Actually, this is uh, the original Naranga's uh, first foe, and I think Naranga was like Ultraman's third foe or something. Uh, this is the original Ultraman uh, from 1960s, 66, I believe. Uh, th and this is the all-new Ultra Hero Series figure. Quote-unquote on all-new, because it's an old line now. But, I mean, that's probably more what it's going to look like with the movie Monster Series Shin. Uh, once again, don't have it. Have never had it in hand. Uh, haven't watched a review of it. Uh... <laughs> I mostly watch action figure reviews for ones I can't afford, because up, up until recently I thought I was going to get the Movie Monster Series Shin, but I got the Ultra Action Figure instead. But yeah, I mean, it could be better. This could be better. Uh, I feel like Ultraman really towers over him, but, you know, it could be a lot worse too. And before we go, I of course have to show Naranga with the big three. First up, we have Godzilla. This is the Playmates. Uh, Godzilla 2004 or uh, Godzilla Final Wars. You know, this is a uh, one that's a lot easier to get. Very cheap. It's like a ten dollar figure here in the states. You know, uh, Walmart exclusive. But I think this line is starting to appear at Target now, uh, which is where a lot of people have found the Jet Jaguar and Burning Godzilla, which are the most recent entries. You know, I think this looks good. I think this was a fine fight. Here's Shin the Rongo with another Movie Monster Series figure, the Movie Monster Series 95 Gamera. This is the first uh, version of Heisei Gamera. Uh, he's cool. I think this scales actually really, really well. Like, I think this is perfect. I think they look great together. I don't know either of their exact heights, especially Narangas. I have an idea for Gamera's, but I don't know Narangas at all. But... I think this looks fantastic. That's a great fit. And last but not least, here's Shin Naranga with uh, the Mezco King Kong. And a lot of the times I don't feel like the Mezco King Kong uh, scales well with a lot of kaiju figures, but I like him with this one. Because, uh, you know, Naranga is supposed to be a bit shorter. He's more long than short. He's low to the ground. Like, the original Naranga would, like, often walk on all fours. Which it doesn't look like this Naranga will maybe be doing much. Because uh, those don't look like walking arms in the front, you know what I mean? But I think this looks good. I actually do. I think he looks good with uh, our Mezco Kong. So what are my final thoughts on the Bandai Movie Monster series Shin Naranga? Really cool. Not used to seeing Ultraman figures in this line, but it really worked out. He's a very, very cool figure that I think adult collectors and kids both will really enjoy. Uh, it's a, such a cool monster design, a great reimagining of Naranga. So even those who already have a Naranga or two in their collection, I believe, uh, will really like this sort of new look for him. 
It's really good. Uh, I think it scales well with many different lines, which is great. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see this movie more than ever now. Very fun figure. I think it has enough detail and paint uh, for the Japanese price point. And uh, enough articulation for the type of figure as well. Plus, it's really durable. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Uh, be sure to subscribe, please, and hit that notification bell if you really want to see the review of Shin Gabora because uh, that is next. So thank you all once again. See you all then.